Okay, so I wanted to do a quick video on the <laughs> least expensive, most kind of makeshift way of e-signing a transcript using Case Catalyst. So you go to your Case Catalyst, and then your computer freezes. I'm kidding. Go to your case catalyst, head over to your um, includes, and what I want you to get, or what you should want to get, is your certification include, whatever it is. Let's say that it looks exactly like this. So, uh, what I want you to do is get that cursor away, you see that blinking vertical line you want to get that totally out of the way and you also don't want a period there okay so once that's out of the way you do control print screen you go down to your search bar go to paint and paste that right in. There's usually a select tool up at the top left here. You just grab it. Well, actually no, I'm sorry. Only grab the uh, the bottom line here. Copy. Matter of fact, you want you want more space on top but less space everywhere else. So grab it like that. Select, right click, copy. Go to File, New. Don't bother saving this. Uh, Control V or um, or paste. And then you have uh, something that's going to look like this. Um, you want to grab a brush that you can live with. So I kind of like the calligraphy brush. I usually give it nice fat thickness and I just sign away it can be a little bit hard to make it look good and I'm not really trying to make it look good I'm just kind of demonstrating how easy this is so that everybody could see so once you've signed your signature there um, you save as and go to, I don't know, let's save it somewhere easy to find like pictures and then we'll do Chris Sig and you could save it as a PNG I think it can also be a JPEG but I wouldn't save it as anything else um, so yeah, so now you have that file I guess feel free to close out of it now let's say, uh, let's go back to your cert you should probably, matter of fact, don't destroy your cert. Just make a totally new cert. Same thing. File, new, text file. New auto, um, new e sign cert. Let's just call it. So there you go. You got it. Now remember, you delete the, uh, the signature line. You go up to edit insert image go wherever you saved your uh, the image of your signature and post that right in now this is always the hard part a lot of times the image is kind of all over the place or hard to get where you want it to go so you might have to delete it do F4L for new line. Uh, again, ins edit, insert, image, your signature, and you got it. You know, it's an insert. Um, it's really probably one of the simplest ways to do it. There's there's a lot of stuff out there. There's like PDF um, print and sign. There was um, real legal. There was, um, I think there was another one that, that 
basically used your signature stamp to do it. Um, and that's all fine and good. I'm not bashing those services, but everybody can kind of e-sign it without having to download all these third-party programs. And I figured people should know that. So, thanks for watching, and have a great evening.